birds cried just a few years ago. The war was hard on the country, with many properties bombed and lives disrupted and ruined, but the announcement of peace and victory brought with it new hope. Even the railways that took on such an important role within the war effort now look to a bright future. The rebuilding of Britain has begun. Instead of war materials, the rakes of wagons now carry goods to sell and to rebuild. Instead of evacuees and soldiers, passenger carriages now carry holiday makers and commuters. But these exciting new times stretch beyond the main lines. Ah look, there is Mr Pond, the station master at Gosport. At the end of the branch line, Gosport receives many goods via the rails. And look out, here come the tourists as well, flocking to the seaside town. With its combination of beautiful sights and prime location, the Gosport line from Fareham is sure to put anyone's holiday on the right track. Well, welcome to another episode of Gosport Junction. Um, I'm doing this video because, uh, to be honest, in the last uh, couple of months, I've been feeling really keen to get back into the layout um and uh and, and gosport junction and all my ideas that i had uh, that have developed over the years and, and i was just looking back the other day to see when was the last time i did a, a, a video for gosport junction and it turns out it's actually november 2017 and we're currently uh, just coming up to the end of may 2021 so four years nearly about three and a half years have passed um and my enthusiasm for the layout has still uh, is very much there. Um, so I wanted to make this video to uh, thank all those people who have recently liked my Facebook page, Gospel Junction. It's been great to uh, have the support. It's really filled me with enthusiasm that what I'm doing might be of interest to somebody. Um, and it's also it really um, encouraged me to actually make more time to get stuff done for the layout so that one day I can actually have the layout that I want. Now, since 2017, lots has happened. We now have our own place, sort of. We're renting with my sister and my nephew, which is not the worst thing in the world. But in terms of space, it does mean that we haven't got, got as much space as we'd like. And finding room for a layout is near on impossible um we've also had a, a lovely daughter born uh this year this last year um which uh with with the pandemic as well has been uh, crazy um not to mention the fact that uh since 2017 i started up uh, as a self-employed driving instructor and over the pandemic it was uh sad to say the least uh with barely any work um uh, because of government lockdowns um and luckily now i'm in a position where i have a a, a new job um uh, which hopefully will bring some stability and a little bit of um help in terms of being able to do things like get a mortgage buy a house that sort of thing so lots of change um uh, but uh that has then brought um, change for the layout. Now, last summer, I decided, um, and you would have seen if you were on my Facebook page, that I decided to go ahead and build a layout. Um, it was going to be a very simple five foot by one and a half foot board. Um, and the idea was that it would be, uh, I, would, I would do a very small layout to practice some of the skills, learn some of the skills that I would need for my layout um and actually have something now i didn't know where i was going to store it and that was half the problem um the other half of the problem was that life itself got rather interesting uh with just a couple of months later my daughter being born 15 weeks premature so it got very um exciting and, and ultimately having put the basic frame together um and having cut the baseboard itself um i didn't get any further than that now roll on to this summer and I'm very keen uh, to get out and do uh, some building of the layout while the weather's really nice. Um, and it made me think, what do I really want to do with this layout? Do I want to do the, the Leon Solent Terminus uh, station, which I had considered? Um, or do I actually want to uh, crack on with the layout that I really want? Um, and I, I think the problem was, in my mind, was I don't, I didn't want to uh, to do a layout 
uh, that I one day may well just get rid of because I didn't want that. That was not the layout I had in mind when I when I picked up this hobby many years ago. Um, and so I've decided I, I'm not not going to do Leon Solon. I'm going to use the board that I've got. Um, hopefully uh, it's big enough to do Gosport Station right down to just past the signal box, just where uh, actual Gosport Junction uh, is to go down to the Stokes Bay line. We'll see. So um, we're going to jump over to the workbench in a moment to see what I have been up to. Um, the whole idea, and I'll explain it in a bit, uh, is that I'm trying to work out how big everything's going to be, what I can fit on to decide whether the one and a half foot board is big enough or whether I actually need to start again and do a two foot board. The two foot's probably the biggest I'll go because I want to be able to reach the full depth of the board. Um, but from there, we can then uh, move on. My long term plans are that at some point we'll have a house where I can get a, a good, decent shed. Uh, probably I'm looking at a 20 foot by 10 foot. Um, that sounds like that's the sort of size that would um, allow me two 20 foot lengths down either side of the shed and then uh, across the back where it would be 10 foot. But of course, you've got the corners meeting the other boards. So realistically, you're probably looking at about a six foot uh, middle section there. Um, so that's the plan. Let's jump over the workbench and we'll talk about it more. Okay, and welcome to the work workbench. So, what have I been up to over the last few years, I guess? Well, I decided to start off uh, working on uh, the buildings for my Fort Brockhurst uh, part of the layout, which, uh, from the last clip, um, I'm, I'm thinking that it would fit roughly in, in the middle of the layout, in that six-foot section. So, let's just zoom down in here so at the moment we've got the main station building just here okay so that's going to be the main station building and then moving over uh, we're going to have a waiting room with possibly a toilets and uh, just in here we'll have the the, the ticket um, ticket office and then we've also got some other toilets here so these probably be the gents um, as you can see I'm sort of dividers in there and then uh, probably the ladies in this one here uh, got a door around the corner uh, so that's uh, the main station building um, this little waiting hut I, I built and I'm really pleased with how it came out it's the, actually the only part that I've finished so far the only building I've finished so far uh, really pleased with how it came out but that's going to be, oh, I could do it a bit of a dust. That's how long it's been uh, sat on the side. Uh, but yeah, so this is the waiting hut and this will be on the, uh, must be the up, uh, up side of the station, uh, heading away from Gosport Station. Um, so that's going to be on one side, station, uh, main station building on the other. Now, a little bit further down, heading away from Gosport, there is, uh, a little line side building, cabin, hut, um, which looks very much like this. Uh, small door, small window on the front, small window on the back. Now, when I um, put a little figure next to uh, next to this, if I can get in there without completely. I got the impression very quickly that this was probably a bit small. Um, so, had a rethink, built another scale model, and I think this one, this card mock-up is probably a little bit better in terms of scale. Might still be a bit big, actually, uh, looking at that. So, I've got to have a think about which one's probably going to work. But uh, in terms of scale, uh, this guy fits through this door better than he fit through uh, this other door here. So something to consider uh, with the building. And that's why I'm, one of the reasons I'm doing these little card mock-ups. Um, when I built Brockhurst, uh, the main station building for Brockhurst uh, station, um, I used a serial packet and made a mock-up of it uh, from there. I learned quite a lot through that. Um, 
with these I've decided to use something the, the mounting card which is a little bit thicker and a little bit more sturdier um, as it's on the workbench quite a bit it gets knocked uh, accidentally um, and this stuff sort of uh, doesn't doesn't break as quickly now on the other end of Fort Brockhurst station uh, building there should be uh, sorry for getting my hands in the way there uh, there should be a signal box and so I've created a card mock-up once again and I quite like this except for I think it might be a bit too big um, it it should sort of sit flush with the front of the station building, like so, but it shouldn't cover the front door of the station building, which is one of the issues I've got there. So, with my little man next to the card mock-up, it looks about the right size, but I think what I'm gonna need to do is maybe do one that has, is, is a little bit, um, less wide uh, so the width of it is is narrower and see if that looks right um and maybe maybe just make it a little bit smaller so this one i think i've made too big and this one i think i made too small but um we'll have a play around with it and see what happens um so that's fort brocker station uh there's uh, other than the signal box well i've got to finish off the main building put the roofs on and then finish up the details like the guttering uh, bits and pieces like that um, I have no floor on my building so that um, when it comes to the time putting on the layout I can put uh, some lights up um, I'm gonna have to learn how to do all that stuff but uh, that's the plan is to light the building I um, also need to put a little uh, shelter sort of about, uh, canopy over the front door uh, which is there in in reality um, this is based on a, on a real station, Fort Brocker station. Um, so that's where I've got the inspiration from. I've got lots of pictures on my Facebook page as well. So check those out. Uh, the waiting hut on the other side is done. And then I need to do this little um, trackside hut. And uh, I need to do the signal box. So I've got a bit of work to do there. Uh, there is also a siding. Um, it's called Admiralty Siding with a small covering for for goods to be dropped off under uh, which I'll, I'll need to make but that should be fairly simple compared to these builds so i'm happy with that so moving on um to what else i've been doing because um i'm not planning on uh, working on ferrum station until i'm in a position that i've got the full sort of horseshoe shape layout um so i thought i would start on Gosport Station. Now, Gosport Station is rather impressive uh, with 14 pillars along its sort of uh, colonnade. Um, I think that's the word anyway. Um, and the front of it is quite impressive as well. I don't actually have a picture to hand, but um, it, it is very impressive. Now, um, I decided to start by doing a card mock up of the front, and this is how it turned out. So, as you can see, you can imagine. Uh, this with uh, various large stonework, um, it it will look very impressive. However, when I built this, I had a couple of issues. Firstly, I questioned whether um, there would a platform and a train would both fit under there, um, especially with the tracks as well. And very quickly realised that actually the the building sits at. Uh, platform level so if I just pull over a couple of platforms here's some I prepared earlier okay so it should sit um, something like that but basically I think that will give me enough space for trains to get underneath uh, with track and I will have to just double check that but I think that's about right. However, when I put my little chappy next to the one of the, the columns, I realized that my attempt to make the sort of the center of the arch twice the height of a six foot man, I realized I hadn't achieved that. I'd got my measurements all wrong. So that meant I needed to uh, have another go. So, in came my second attempt and I will say doing these card mock-ups really does 
very quickly uh, bring to light the issues, uh, any issues before you um, get too far down the road. So this is the new one, um, quite a bit bigger. And if we take our chappy again, and we just, oh, he's a bit drunk. If we put him against the pillar, you can see that arch is much better in terms of the scale. And it gives a much more sort of grand appearance. And we're already starting to see that this will look like a very impressive um, station building. Now, as I said earlier, it has these 14 pillars uh, that will run essentially from the corner of this building all the way down to essentially another corner that looks just like this. The main station building then sits uh, inside the, uh, I think it's about the two arches wide, and it goes all the way down. And then this piece here, let's see if I can get, yeah, this piece here then sits on the platform, helping to support the roof. Um, and uh, yeah, then spans over where the tracks will be to uh, basically the same piece, but on the other side in reverse on the other side um, with the goods uh, platform and shed on the other side. So it's quite a, quite a process and it's gonna, I think gonna be very big, probably somewhere between a, a foot and a foot and a half long. Um, so I'm really impressed with how far we're getting with that so far. Uh, now I have started working on the, uh, the rest of the station building. And what I've done is I've drawn a design for the pillars. Now I plan to use some six millimeter uh, round rod from Plastistrut. As you can see, five pound 20 for five there, but I think I'm gonna have enough lengths to do all 14 pillars. Um, each pillar I believe uh, is measuring 22 millimeters in height with a five millimeter plinth underneath it. Um, and I decided to do a card version to stick onto uh, the part I've already done um, to get an idea of the size of it. And, and again, I think as I said earlier, the whole purpose of um, doing these card mock-ups is to see if the board is big enough for what I want to do. And if it's not, then I'll need to do a two foot board instead of a one and a half foot board. So here, what I'm doing is I'm cutting out two uh, two um, identical sets, so I'll ha be able to double them up, get the thickness um, f uh, to give me an idea roughly. And they won't be completely as thick as the pillars will be, but uh, I can't, I really can't be doing um, four of these. Uh, one of them, I'm halfway through what, drawing out one of them, I've still got the other to do, and then I've got to cut them all out. It's it's a little bit tedious, but um, it'd be well worth it in the end, especially when I sort of see the, the grandeur of the station building uh, sat before me. Um, I'm also tempted with the idea of using this this card mock-up, not this specific one, but if I know that I can produce it in card, then it might be a good substructure to then stick plastic card onto rather than making the whole thing from plastic card to start with. So a um, couple of thoughts there, a couple of ideas I've got um, and hopefully that will, um, yeah, it'll, it'll, uh, it'll, it'll show me what it's going to look like and also give me some ideas of issues that might occur. So that's uh, the main station building. I have have um, been using the graph paper to do other designs. So there, there's the front. Um, this is roughly what it's going to look like. Obviously, the measurements and the scale is wrong. I'm using the bigger version, but um, the front of it will have uh, these sort of pillars on the side. It'll have this part um, sort of sticking out around it, uh, and then I'll have this uh, quite ornate piece on top. So that's um, I think I think it's going to look really good. Um, I'm very excited to um, get that on the board just to see. Um, the idea is that if, if I can fit the station building in and the goods yard um, all within the foot and a half, then hopefully, hopefully that will uh, give me enough space 
uh, to do everything I need and I won't need to get, put, get a, a new board and do two foot but uh, we'll wait and see and uh, yeah so that's pretty much it for this layout uh, layout update for want of a better title I will be um, doing more videos in the future um, and hopefully uh, and until I can actually uh, get the board up and start putting it together and, and building buildings i think it's probably going to be just updates on uh the buildings like these um and card mock-ups and things like that hopefully in the next video I, I was hoping to do it for today's video but unfortunately i haven't had enough time to get all the card mock-ups finished um, and get the board out but hopefully in the next one i'll have all the card mock-ups done for all the buildings i want and then i can put them on the board with the little bit of track that i've got and uh, hopefully give you guys an idea of roughly what the station board is going to look like um, long term. Uh, the five foot board, which will be Gosport Station, will hopefully be one of four boards to run the whole 20 foot length. Um, and in each five foot board, my plan is to um, sort of do uh, a particular element of the the branch line uh, that I'm model I'm basing it on, which is the Gosport branch line. Uh, so I'll be doing Gosport Junction. I'll be doing the Laura Ar uh, Laura Ashley wallpaper factory that used to be there, along with the Lee's Lane uh, crossing with the signal box. I also want to do the Anne's Hill Bridge um, leading up to Fort Brockhurst Station, and then from there with the Admiralty siding, I'll be then moving. Uh, on an incline up to Ferrum Station, which will sit a little bit higher, be the highest point on the board. Um, I'm also hoping from Ferrum um, to branch out, so I'll have a viaduct, uh, a small viaduct um, going behind the back scene, um, which will then have a, it'll then connect to a, a runaround loop so it can come back in through Ferrum, uh, but also uh, run down to what will be a sort of a very small station. Um, which will take the well, well the idea is that it will represent Eastley station um just next to Eastley works which will be a fiddle yard on on the main layout so that I don't waste any space um and it will be scenic uh but the track will run around behind the uh the the yard essentially so that I can sort of create a loop but um anyway that's that for today um Thank you ever so much to everybody who's liked my Facebook page and anybody who subscribes to the channel. If you want to keep following along, uh, please do hit the subscribe button. I appreciate it. I think I've started uh, this sort of next section of, uh, of the layouts history uh, with six subscribers. So we'll see how long uh, it takes to get another one and make it seven. Um, thanks very much to uh, several people who've, who've given me support over the last few months in terms of uh, ideas for the layout and um, you know moving forward in terms of techniques and stuff um, Stephen at Elheim uh, no Elvenholm ha has been fantastic um, when I've reached out to him he's been really good giving tips and advice um, and also uh, is it Michael at Chandwell has been fantastic very inspirational um, and I've also enjoyed uh, watching um, the engaged layout of Exhaven uh, Harbour, which uh, I think gave me the inspiration to do uh, to aim for a twenty foot by ten foot layout. Um, so yeah. Anyway, I'm going to cut it there because uh, this is uh, rolling on a bit. Take care, stay safe, and we'll speak to you soon.